today it's just classes. I am team one. We are at Jungle One University, so I'm gonna go take a quick walk because it's not quite 7.30 and breakfast starts at 7.30. And let me tell you, like half the campus is, a, like most of the campus honestly is awake because we are all suffering from jet lag of some sort. Like I woke up at 4.45 this morning, just naturally, but I also went to bed at 10.30 last night. So like, it's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, also they feed you immediately after medical checks, but you can't eat until then. It is a completely fasted blood test and chest x-ray, so be aware of that. Um, your chest x-ray, you cannot have any plastic or metal on your torso, so if you have a plastic um, bra clasp or metal bra clasp, you gotta take the bra off. Um, they recommend a cotton t-shirt um, and like maybe a sports bra. If you have one that doesn't have all that, um, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. Make sure you wear bottoms. Like, don't wear a dress today. Thinking it'll be convenient. This is certainly not a lesson I learned from experience. But wear like a top and bottom combo, cotton t-shirt on top. So save that, not for your travel day. But yeah, I think that's all for today. So it's Tuesday night and I have honestly totally forgotten to film. I've taken some food photos, but oh, it's been a day. It's been a few days. Um, so the first day of classes on Monday was fantastic. I love the classes. The classes are super helpful. They are overwhelming. Um, so just kind of bear that in mind. Don't freak out. It'll all be okay. Just kind of roll with it. Um, but it is a little bit overwhelming at first, um, because they're, this is like college syllabus day. They're like throwing all this information at you at once. All the stuff you have to do in an entire year thrown at you in like the span of like five or seven days. Um, so I've so far gone over, um, after school camps and classes and activities, um, like vacation activities. So like, you know, you'll have to do like a summer camp or a winter camp, um, in English, and let's see, I mean, storytelling aids and lesson planning so that we have to do a lesson demonstration by the end of the week. And, you know, learning more about that, learning about how to plan a lesson, how to make our English more comprehensible and um, simplify it for non-native English speakers. And I mean, honestly, so much. Today alone, we had Korean culture and storytelling, lesson planning, and classroom management. So it's fantastic. And these are honestly skills that um, if you've you know been on my page for a long time, you know that I taught in Spain. Spain didn't give you any of this information. I mean, like maybe a little, but like not a lot. It certainly wasn't seven days of an hour and a half, like four hour and a half classes each like kind of information. Um, so it's a lot of information, but it's been super helpful. I feel like I'm being given so many tips that I desperately needed, um, as well as, you know, getting a little bit of confirmation that, you know, I'm on the right track, that I have been a good teacher in the past, because a lot of the things that they're suggesting are things that I've been doing and things that co-teachers in the past in Spain helped me to do and helped me to get better at. Um, so yeah, it's a good mix. Um, but, it has been like packed. We we have had activities all day, and of course we're all still jet lagged. So like the people coming from the UK are six hours, no seven hours ahead, eight hours ahead. Sorry, they're eight hours ahead. So like they're having um, similar issues to like when I had when I moved to Spain, and I suffered the first few days I was in Spain every single time I went. Um, and here, I mean, everybody's falling asleep at like 10.30, waking up at like 4.30. It's been kind of insane. Um, so none of us are really getting enough sleep, so we're all dead tired. Um, breakfast has been pretty fantastic. The food here, awesome, fantastic. I don't even like fish, and I still ate the fish stick tonight. It was so good.
I will send some photos and like keep things updated and like include the menus. But wow, y'all, the food here. It's so good. Um, there's also a little e-mart, which is like, um, I was mean, just a little convenience store on campus. And that has been fantastic. Um, so essentially the day-to-day -day schedule so far has been like breakfast from 7.30 to 8.40, 8.30, 8 Then you might go get an iced coffee in one of those like, like little aesthetic containers where you like peel back the ice and you get one of the bags of coffee and then you pour in the bag. Um, you like do the swirly thing. It's so great. Um, so we can get that and then you go to your lesson and you sit there for an hour and a half. You have a half hour break, which is enough to like pee, refill your water, um, stand up for a minute. So you're not like falling asleep. Um, then you have a second hour and a half class and then you go to breakfast, no lunch. You go to lunch. You have from 1230 to two in my group. Well, 140, 145. Uh, and then you have to be seated 10 minutes before your lesson starts, seated and ready to go, which kind of gives your teacher like kind of the option to like talk to you a little bit, um, but as well as gives them time to set up, gives you time to just sit down and settle in and talk to people. And you're kind of, not 100%, but kind of grouped with people who will be in your region or regions nearby your region. Um, so a lot of the people in my group are also placed in Daegu. Some of them are placed in, I think they said Chombok, um, things like that. And yeah. And then you'll have your second class or your third class, second set of classes, third, and fourth classes, um, hour and a half, half hour break, hour and a half, and then dinner. And then you have like 30, 40 minutes to kind of just mess around and do whatever you want. Maybe take a walk. And then you go work on your lesson plan, or you can just relax, meet some friends, hang out a little bit. Um, today, we're done with our lesson planning, which is part of why I didn't film anything because we did all our work yesterday. Um, but it has been crazy busy. It has been fantastic. It's been a wonderful experience. Um, but a few notes, the bed is hard as a rock. The pillow is not great. So if you were, um, you know, struggling with those things, maybe bring a pillow, maybe bring, I don't know what you can do for the mattress. I think you might just have to suffer for a few days and you might want to bring a towel. I should use my towel, but I don't want to take it out. We have these like little microfiber hand towel kind of things. This is the towel for my entire body. And I got two of them. Um, you've seen me in real life or not, you know, this is not going to go around my entirety. It's just not, this isn't going to go around many people's entirety. Um, so yeah, but honestly, overall great experience, 10 out of 10, totally recommend. Um, it is overwhelming. So like, keep it cool, but they put you into groups and like, they kind of facilitate making friends. They give you just enough extra time so you can rest without having time to really freak out. It's pretty good. Um, I think that's it. And I'll try to film more tomorrow, but remember there are really strict laws in Korea about who you can and can't videotape. So of course I cannot tape a class without the, um, consent of the teacher. And honestly, that just might make them uncomfortable. So yeah, I will try to get a little more information, a little more videos of what we do, um, tomorrow, but yeah, tomorrow we have a cultural experience. We start with Taekwondo. Um, we will do something revolving around our names and like working with our names in Korean script, um, learning to write them in like one of the older scripts and then some more lessons. So I will take some video. I will keep you updated and yeah, let's you know how it goes. So it's all in Korean, but if you use Papago, you can translate it. Oh, it's in English. 